Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, y'all. So I want to come on here and talk about everybody's favorite cereal impregnator, okay? Future. So if you guys don't know this Thanksgiving weekend, this was all over the blogs. Future has knocked up a sixth woman. Her name is Eliza Rain. Um, she's a Haitian Instagram model. And basically, she wrote this long fucking dissertation, honey. And I'm not reading none of that bullshit. But basically, the gist of her dissertation that she wrote on social media is that she's been having sex raw with Future for the past two years. Um, she got knocked up. And initially, he told her to go get an abortion. She thought about going to get an abortion, but then the doctor told her because she's up there in age, she's in like her late 30s, that she may have problems trying to conceive in the future <laughs> no pun and damn tended okay so because she doesn't want to you know risk not being able to have any children in the future she decided to keep this baby and basically now she's saying that future has been threatening to kill her that he wants her to have an abortion he's really upset so she feels that taking this to social media and putting everything out there in the open is going to let people know that if she gets hurt if anything happens to her that basically the serial impregnator future did this shit okay so she wrote all this on social media of course the story Story went viral and then yesterday she came back onto social media to update some more information the initial post that she made on social media was deleted um instagram deleted it so i don't know if future contacted instagram and told them to take it down but that post was deleted and this is what she wrote yesterday go ahead and check this out so she uploaded a new message and it says no lie right hand on the bible shortly after that day i got a call from someone telling me to be careful i heard future wants your head they even told me the amount and maybe this is some legal trouble behind it but i'm not letting no one's legal team make me silent while they threaten my existence and my unborn child it's sad to think that a person i laid up with for years would put a price tag slash value on my death and the death of their unborn child i can't stop crying I'm in total shock, scared for myself, my unborn child, and my family. Never thought a person with five baby mamas would want the sixth one dead. It's truly heartbreaking. It seems the best way to protect myself at this point is to bring this situation to light and hopefully make him back off. Honey. So anyway, since this has all come out, Futures had some stuff to say about it with his arrogant, narcissistic ass. And then also his baby mother, Brittany Malay. She's also going off on Instagram about the situation as well. Go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Big, big cap. It's an evil world we live in. But hey, I'm going to keep living. I love in life. I love my fans the most. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it's going to happen. When these racks blue, motherfuckers do whatever for this shit. Two things we don't do. We don't give money back and we don't say sorry. I'm so crazy. I'm inspired, man. I'm so inspired. I got inspiration from everywhere. It's about to be my greatest album of all times right now. You know what I'm saying? Well, to date, it's going to be one of my best albums. Watch this. Mary. So this is what Britney wrote on Monday. She says, stop tagging me. Not my problem. I don't give a fuck. Thanks. So now if that's not crazy enough, Future is now clapping back at Wendy Williams because Wendy Williams on her show, she basically talked shit about Future and said that his pullout game is weak, which I agree with. It has to be damn weak because he keeps knocking up every chick that he damn fucks, okay? So any damn ways, Wendy Williams was going in on him and, and talking about his baby mamas and talking about his pullout game and Future was not feeling that shit at all. This is what Future had to say back to Wendy Williams. Go ahead and check this out. So Future says, I can't argue with the woman whose feet is bigger than mine's. No, sir. And then he goes on to post a picture of him, and he says, Thank God I'm richer than Wendy Williams. Really, Future? Really? That's your response? How about thanking God that you don't have a damn STD? That's what you should be thanking God for, okay? Being that you keep raw-dogging everybody and keep rolling the dice, you know what I'm saying? This dude is a trip. This man is supposedly so rich. He has so much more money than Wendy Williams, but yet and still he can't afford a box of condoms. He keeps knocking up women that he clearly does not want to have children with because every time one of them gets pregnant, it's an issue. When Joey got pregnant, it was an issue. He basically cut her off. He stopped talking to her. He was pissed off. And now that this Haitian woman, Eliza's 
pregnant. It's also an issue. So it's clearly obvious he doesn't want all these children, but for some reason he refuses to strap up. You know, so it's like Future needs to grow the hell up. And as far as this girl, I'm sorry, I don't feel bad for her at all, okay? Like I always tell you, when people show you their true colors, believe them, okay? It shouldn't take a second, a third, and a fourth chance. When people show you who they truly are, cut their motherfucking asses off and keep it fucking moving, okay? Future has shown time and time again that he's arrogant, he's a narcissist, and that he does not like to use protection when he has sex, okay? And as an adult, you know what it takes to get pregnant. Everybody knows if you're having raw sex, there's a possibility that you can get pregnant. So once you get pregnant, why are you upset? Why are you feeling some type of way? Because she thought that somehow her being the six baby mama was going to get him to change his mind and possibly wife her up and, you know, have more respect for her. Because all these chicks, for some reason, think that their box is so much different than the last chick's box, okay? And now this woman is getting a rude awakening that, no, Future doesn't care about you, your box, or your unborn baby, okay? You were just somebody for him to get off on. And now that he's gotten off on you, now he's moved on to his next victim. You know, so these women are stupid. They put themselves in this stupid situation and then go to social media crying about how he's a deadbeat and how he's not stepping up and how he's not there for their children i mean shocker was he there for the first one was he there for the second the third the fourth hell sierra out of all the baby mama sierra is the most established out of all these women he ain't even there for little future okay so it's like, why is this woman crying and trying to act brand new like she didn't know what she was getting herself into? Now, should he be threatening her and threatening to kill her? No, he shouldn't. But again, who's to say that he's even doing that? She could just be doing this for social media attention, social media validation. I don't know. You know, but the whole situation is insane. I don't feel bad for none of these damn grown adults, okay? Because they chose to put themselves in this situation time and time again. The only victims in all this fuck shit are these babies who are being born to different mothers by this serial impregnator who are being raised in different homes and in different situations. Do these siblings even hang out? Do they even all know each other? And I think that's the saddest part of this situation, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Future knocking up his sixth baby mama, um, Eliza. He's claiming that he doesn't know who she is, that he didn't knock her up. But I'm not buying shit Future has to say because he also tried to play crazy when Joey got knocked up. And now he's claiming her. Now he's claiming the child and everything else. So this dude is just full of shit. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.